I think it's really important at, at any couple's wedding ceremony for everyone to understand how we got to this point right here where Darren and Julie are promising their lives to each other. And it all started at a, at a worship conference called Passion, which is down in um, Atlanta, Georgia. But their mutual friends, Tori and Chase, Tori's church had some extra seats for the conference. And so Tori asked Julie if she wants to go to the conference. Julie says yes. And then there was also an invite to, from a church in Kentucky where Darren just happened to be on staff to come down and use some of those extra seats. It was Tori and Chase that decided that this could be something. And so they moved some seats around where they could sit next to each other um, and worship together. And, and I love, this is what Darren said, his first impression of Julie was that he loved the way she worshiped Jesus. And Julie said she remembers just staring at Darren <laughs> but she did say that she remembers thinking to herself at the conference, what if we get married one day? Honey is so clear now. You are the four winds, you're the catalyst. <laughs> Are my eyes still closed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that I get to stand here and read this to you. You are, uh, you're my best friend, my closest companion, and, and I know that the love that I have for you right now is small in comparison to like, the journey that's ahead for us. And so I choose you. That you are the one that I'm going to pursue and get to enjoy the rest of my life. And so I promise to, to lead you, to protect you, to provide for you, and to chase after you with, with everything that I have. And today I give you everything I've got. And I love you. Uh, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Darren, you may kiss your bride. God knew three years ago when we met in that arena of thousands of people that, you, that we would be husband and wife and yeah. today would be the day we make that commitment to each other. From the 1 a.m. phone calls to the FaceTime dates, cutting your hair off and then cutting it in a cornfield yeah. when we're standing in a cornfield. <laughs> I know. And spending six weeks of quarantine together making puzzles and watching Harry Potter. And God covered our relationship and got, guided us through each step, not only closer to each other, but closer to Him. Today, I vow to be your wife, best friend, and teammate, and I pray we choose to live our life for something that matters more than ourselves. I pray we would love God with our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and that we would serve God joyfully together and yield our plans and dreams to Him daily. I promise to be the helpmate God intended me to be for you from the beginning, and I will honor you and support you in leading us as a family. I will cover you in prayer and always be your best friend and greatest cheerleader. I pray from today forward we would always forgive and extend grace to one another. As Ephesians 4.32 says, Instead, be kind and tenderhearted to one another and forgive one another as God has forgiven you through Christ. Today, in the start of our life together, to pursue Christ as a team. Life is so short, and whenever you want God, we give it to you. For this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I love you more. <laughs>